Okay, so I really wanted to chat about the geek chic aesthetic that I've seen making a comeback in fashion recently. In the ever-changing world of fashion, trends hum and go, but sometimes they resurface with a contemporary twist. Just in the past three years, we have witnessed the resurgence of various aesthetics in different forms. With bling, boho, indie sleeves, whimsy gothic, and my favorite was gorpcore as a reinterpretation of 90s skater style. But one that I feel like is very much on the come up right now is geek chic. This style has been referred to in various ways including hot librarian, sexy secretary, or dweebcore, but I feel like the term geek chic really encapsulates its essence to me. This updated version of geek chic is characterized by thin rimmed glasses and a fusion of mid-2000s and 90s workwear elements. It stands as a far cry from the twee and hot nerd aesthetics that once dominated the fashion scene in the 2010s. This version of geek chic is rooted in very new new esque styling used with various other subcultures drawing inspiration from a diverse range of influences really encompassing 90s archive fashion and adding punk elements for a darker vibe but to me what truly makes geek chic captivating is its ability to redefine what is considered attractive all while exuding a certain level of sophistication and sensuality Really embracing ugly items and turning them into fashion statements is a defining trait of this aesthetic. Wearing items that have been commonly perceived as ugly has been prominent in fashion for years now. But I strongly believe that the geek chic aesthetic serves as a contrast to aesthetics such as bimbo core or barbie core both of which I, of course, very much love. No hate to the bimbo girlies. But it does appear to me that post-2020, some fashion enthusiasts have been drawn to sleaze aesthetics embracing darker and grungier elements. Also, I really wanted to talk about the Bayonetta glasses trend that I've been seeing a lot on my news feeds lately. While past iterations of Geek Chic have really relied on different types of glasses, namely cat eye glasses or thick rimmed and round frame. Within the realm of modern Geek Chic, thin rimmed rectangular glasses, especially the iconic Mew Mew Bayonetta glasses, have become a staple. Bayonetta glasses get their name from the video game Bayonetta where the main character is known for her iconic glasses. These glasses have become a distinctive part of her character design and have contributed to her overall image through the years. If you were conscious in the mid to early 2000s, I'm sure that you are very familiar with the style of glasses. Surgeons of this frame style can be attributed to Miss Bella Hadid who has been seen multiple times wearing them. In terms of the other fashion staples associated with the geek chic resurgence, we have classic office wear pieces like roll necks, low rise trousers, waist coats, chunky knits, and structured blazers from 90s archive brands. Additionally, capris and tailored shorts have made a comeback, particularly this summer. Also socks, exposed socks with heels or ballet flats or trainers are a major element of this trend. I know that capris and socks with heels may not be for everybody, but I am definitely here for them. In terms of color palette, Geek Chic revolves around timeless shades like black, gray, white, and brown, while incorporating pops of vibrant see with shades like green and blue. Plaid patterns have historically been associated with preppy fashion. However, they take on a new dimension with Geek Chic, paying homage to iconic fashion moments from the past. Geek Chic enthusiasts have really embraced midi and maxi skirts, mainly kilts, defying previous associations with long skirts being ugly or frumpy. Kilts are traditionally worn by Scottish men and if you are a girl who went to a Catholic school in the UK or Ireland, I'm sure that you're also very familiar with the kilt. Speaking of kilts and plaid, the influence of punk subcultures pioneered by fashion icons like Vivian Westwood is evident in the modern interpretation of this aesthetic. And also, I wanted to talk on the concept of the man repeller outfit. I've noticed that geek chic outfits and boquette outfits have been referred to online as man repeller outfits. This is referencing the 2010s movement pioneered by a woman that I do not wish to talk about right now, which really encouraged women to embrace fashion choices that may not necessarily be appealing to men, which to be honest, very much warms my heart. 
However, I do feel like Geek Chic really goes beyond mere opposition and truly celebrate creativity and individuality. I, for one, will definitely continue incorporating Geek Chic pieces into my wardrobe through the summer and onto autumn and winter. Let me know in the comments if you're liking this aesthetic or not. Thank you for watching and staying with me till the end of the video. And since you're here, you might as well subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.